What's up guys, Atlas just announced the new warehouse is coming next week, so they've put out a little teaser for it. This dropped in, well, at the end of my live stream, so I did go for it on live stream, but I thought, since it's happened right now while I'm on my PC, I thought I'd quickly go through it with you guys and give some of my thoughts, because it's quite interesting. So, um, yeah, if you missed the stream and you want to see the stream, hit the subscribe button, and um, I do... Um, weekly streams at the moment doing one a week as well as gameplay videos Monday and Fridays and videos like this whenever they pop up so normally in between uh, the videos so anyway let's get on with it then Ahoy Pathfinders we have something awesome in store for you next week warehouses teaser and other discussions in the captain's log here uh, and the uh, the uh, thumbnail looks pretty cool I like it Ahoy Pathfinders our commitment to bring a new feature to Atlas continues Atlas is still in early access and we're only in the beginning stages of developing the renewed Atlas journey. Many changes are incoming and a lot of work is being done behind the scenes. All of your feedback has been helpful and we're thankful you're taking this voyage with us as we shape the Atlas experience. Many of you expressed that you wanted to hear more about our vision as we breathe new life into Atlas. From the highest level, the main efforts are towards making the ocean fun and cleaning up the code. We are putting equal efforts into fixing bugs in rickety systems while we work on the new things for you to do in the water. Apart from that, we feel that Atlas suffers from a theming problem. In some aspects, the game tries to almost be a simulation, but in others there are dragons and hydras. Currently, this creates a bit of a problem, which we are working to solve. I can't read that word. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Unifying the theme is one of the broader acts within the design team. For example, it's fair to say that we want to edge away from being a high fantasy wow with ships. There are lots of great ideas we are playing with, but nothing that we are able to share at this point as we get closer to defining our ideas. We'll bring them out onto the deck for you guys. One of the bigger changes is a new, more optimised system for ships and new types of ships. This includes the mechanic of buying certain types of ships for gold. We've seen a lot of excitement and feedback around this topic, and many players are hoping to find out more info on its current state. Unfortunately, that's all we can say right now. Please know there is a steady stream of content planned, and we're half-timing that and half-timing on fixing the bugs and cleaning up the code as we navigate towards a 1.0 release. A lot of these bigger changes are going to take some time to fully implement and some of the changes happening now are setting the foundations of that gameplay. Think of them as building blocks. For example, a load of farmhouses are indeed a quality of life update. It's just the first step in a longer scheme for a new system. Now we're excited to announce the second step, warehouses. So I'll get onto warehouse in a minute. So the main thing there that I'm glad they said is about moving away from basically the high fantasy MMO RPG type thing, which it gets labelled as. It's good because people like kind of use it as a downer on the game. Um, but I think you know they tried to do something different. It hasn't worked. They're changing direction. People didn't seem to be as interested in it, but maybe you could put that down to the game wasn't as good as it could have been. Well, it definitely wasn't, but they didn't. Um, they didn't. They didn't uh, manage to get their idea onto the screen. If that makes sense, like they didn't manage to get it how they wanted it. I imagine, um, or how people anticipated it was going to be. Um, so I think it's good they're moving away from that. Um, we was having a discussion on stream about how maybe they're trying to get into Sea of Thieves market, which I personally think don't think is a bad idea. Even if they did get into that market, they're still very different games. Um, people always try and like criticise it for being like Ark or being like Sea of Thieves, when really it's you know is obviously it looks like Ark. It's the same engine and some of the same mechanics, but you know it's different to Ark if you're being honest. Um, in some ways, obviously there's a lot of similarities, but there are ways where it's completely different. Um, and the, the Sea of Thieves is completely different, the only theme really being the pirates, um, and that you can sail ships around. Um, but, you know, it's got the building aspect of the game, like ship and actual building like, structures. Um, there's a lot more customizability on Atlas compared to um, Sea of Thieves, which as far as I know only has cosmetics. So, you know, it'd be a different thing. And, you know, I play Ark, I play Atlas. I do occasionally, not very often, but occasionally play a Sea of Thieves. It's a game I really do like, but I just don't have time to play it right now. Um, so I don't see why they get played off against each other in a negative way. 
Um, the more things that are similar or in the same market, the better the games should become because it's driving that competition. And um, yeah, they're all great games. So why it would be a problem for any of them to be like any of the others, um, I, I just don't get it. So yeah, I mean, they're moving away from the uh, high fantasy stuff is essentially what they're saying anyway. So, you know, that's cool. It'd be interesting to see what they do with that. Maybe the PvE offshoot is going to be its own game mode where we might see more of that stuff we'll have to wait and see but it's good that they're doing that many of you expressed that you wanted to hear more about our vision as we breathe new life into atlas from the highest level the main efforts are towards making the ocean fun and cleaning up the code so another thing we was talking about on the stream was that um you know before this was announced was like people asking about you know what the game's like is it laggy when they've tried to log on it's been really laggy for them um, this, the ocean's been a real problem for a long time, and on um, on PV at the moment, I don't know what PVP is like, so you'll have to let me know after you know you hear what I'm about to say. But on PV at the moment, it's been really busy. We've as PV community have been put onto one server. I think there's a lot. I think the community on PV is a lot bigger than people anticipated, um, including the devs. Um, and it's just not big enough. Like, and obviously, we all know the game isn't optimized that great. They they clearly say there that they've got rickety systems and they're trying to clean up code, etc. And it's been really bad recently. So you know, obviously, that's a priority. They're trying to fix code. They're trying to fix exploits. They don't get enough credit recently for the exploits they have fixed. Um, I keep seeing things pop up about exploits and how bad it is when the exploits people mention have been fixed. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's good what they're doing, and you know they are cleaning up. And the ocean being made more fun, you know, you can only have so much fun in PvP. Obviously, you've got the ship combat as well as like the the ships that are damned and some sunken treasures if you find that fun, I guess. But um, yeah, they're gonna have to put more content in. They can't just expect to like make the map smaller and make everything like everyone pushed into more areas or smaller areas. Sorry to make the game have more content they're gonna to have to put more stuff in so that'd be interesting to see if they do add stuff in and they mention again there one of the bigger changes is a new more optimized system for ships and new ship types again like people keep asking about new ships um, and you know after last patch people thought that's what's coming they're not going to do anything with new ships until they've optimized the ocean which is what they keep talking about and um, yeah the, it'll be good when they do get it done obviously you know, another thing we were talking about in the stream was that it, people seem to think like even like, let's just call them wild card because obviously grape shots are an offshoot of them, but they think like wild cards a massive company. Now I don't know how big they are, but they're not a triple A company. They're you know they're not Rockstar, they're not Bethesda, they're they're wild card. They're they're a small company. You know, as far as gaming developers go, I guess. I mean, they're not the smallest, but they're definitely not the biggest either. And um, Atlas has had a rough life, and what they're trying to do right now is change direction, completely overhaul the game. Maybe that's what it kind of sounds like. You know, the last um, update they put out, or in the Q and A, sorry, in the video I just done this week, I mentioned that it's kind of like um, in their announcement they made of that that they were making a new slate, clean slate, fresh start, almost a new game. And again, that's what it seems like with this post. So it, it's good to see that. I hope. You know, a lot of people have said, oh, they do this all the time and then they abandon it. I, I don't know. This time I feel like um, it's different and I think this is going to be the be all and end all. Like, th this is going to be what's going to define the game. Either it's going to pay off and they're going to stick with it or it's going to be another cash and grab type situation. Cash and grab? <laughs> um, a cash grab situation and um i think that will you know that'll execute the game essentially i think it'll kill it if that is the case which is unfortunate um i'm sure even the people that um you know like don't like to but you know like you always have the negative side of things to say um and act like they really hate the game which obviously they're so wound up in the comments on some like reddit posts and stuff that maybe they do hate the game but at the same time they they must love it like to be that annoyed by it if that makes sense like so i think everyone playing the game wants to see this game succeed um no matter how annoyed they are with it so um yeah i'm i've got my fingers crossed that this is a new leaf for the, the development team we've got a new development team a new lead designer new community managers and they've been really active since the wipe. I keep saying that they've been really active and they don't get enough credit for the bug fixing and exploits they have done. 
um, it kind of just gets looked over. And you see it in, when they release patch notes, people like going on about things, and it's like, dude, look, read the patch notes. It's in the patch notes, but people don't read it. So yeah, they're, sorry about that little tangent there, but yeah, they, they are doing a good job and they're moving in a new direction. And like I said, they're not a massive studio, so everything's going to take time. Um, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> giving them like free reign here or like letting them off. You know, obviously they have made mistakes, but like I said, it's a new team, and since a new team come has come in, it's been mostly positive. So I'm just going to keep hoping that we're going in the right direction. Warehouses, warehouses will be coming to Atlas next week which will be, this is the 8th of um, August right now, 2020, so the week after this video. Warehouses will come into Atlas next week. Connect warehouses to farmhouses to automatically store the resources you gather. How will the system continue to evolve? You'll have to wait and see. Please note the farmhouses and warehouses are still in their first iteration. We will continue to develop and improve them as we look at gameplay and receive player feedback. We're sure you have many questions on how the warehouse itself will function as well. Leave us your questions in the comments section. We'll be going more in depth about warehouses in the patch notes next week. In the meantime, we'd like to share some of the concept uh, for the warehouses below. And they look pretty cool. They look a bit um, Wild West. <laughs> Got a bit of a Wild West type thing going on. And um, yeah, they look pretty smart. I'm not happy with them just being a storage box for the farmhouses. I was hoping they was going to be more interactive. I was hoping it was going to be um, something we would see in a free port. Maybe there's going to be like some sort of NPC setup where you could trade things, you could store item, um, store like mass resources and trade with people. Um, but they did say it's the first iteration and you know there's a lot more to go with this so this is just the first building block um, along with the farmhouses it's cool though like more structures and things like that ease of life for pvp is definitely going to speed up the gameplay there and um, allow people to get stuck in more and um, i actually think as well if you get wiped it's going to make things easier to get back on your feet which is good um, but yeah, it's definitely a quality of life thing. Like I said, I was really hoping we was going to see some sort of um, trade system from it. But uh, maybe we'll see something like that in the future. But either way, it's cool and it looks good. So, you know, whatever. And it looks like it's going to be a good asset to PvP. End game encounters and XP. We've received a lot of questions about the boss encounters. Continuing to reward XP after careful consideration, we'll be leaving it as is for the remainder of Season 4. We appreciate the reports you've all been sending us through your feedback. We saw that the problems with the boss encounters were a priority issue that the community wanted addressed. In the process of introducing the fixes, we found that it is a deep rabbit hole of accumulated issues. Unfortunately, it is going to take us some time to fully sort it out. We are a small but dedicated team with big aspirations and there is a balance that we want to strike when it comes to implementing new features. While continuing to work on existing bugs and balance issues, at this time we currently do not have the resources to properly approach boss encounters and the myriad of issues surrounding the current state of endgame content. We have therefore come to recognise that it would be better to leave the boss encounters as is while we focus on implementing the next steps of the new system we are currently rolling out. We'll still con continue to include other fixes and adjustments as we can, but we will have to apologise for where we have to leave the state of Endgame for now. However, please know that the adjustments will be made before the next season wipe. Please note that the zeroing out on some of the Endgame XP is temporary. As an early access title, many things can and will continue to change during development and your feedback is an integral part of our approach. We are very grateful for the reports and feedback we've received thus far. We'll continue to look at the community to help and guide our actions to improve our processes. Thank you for not only helping us discover these issues, but for the insight you provide us as well. As our first mate, the community and the support and dedication we receive from you means a lot to us. Happy sailing, Atlas Crew. Yeah, they've <laughs> discovered there's a lot of problems with the end game stuff. Some people were happy with the XP taken away. Some people weren't happy with it. Everyone wanted the exploit fixed. They did look into it. They've tried a few fixes. So I'm guessing by the sounds of it, they haven't managed to get to the bottom of it. And it's a lot worse than they thought. So I don't know what that's going to mean at the moment. Um, I thought XP has been fully removed. So I guess that means it's staying like that. But then they did say somewhere in there that um, they will change it back, maybe. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. One thing they get criticised for a lot of the time is um, continuing to roll out um, 
different things and look into fixing things when there's bigger problems with the game. And I think this will be used against them. Um, I get where they're coming from and I think they're probably right if it is really such a deep rabbit hole and they just keep finding all these problems that go deeper than they thought that they're just going to have to crack on with what they're doing and try and look at it at a later date before the end of the, this season which is good that they're still continuing with the season theme I know some people think it's um, rubbish but I think it's a really good idea personally and um, they adopted that from the community it was the community that kept coming up with the seasons and they've adopted it so um, yeah I think it's good that that's happened um, but yeah, so I don't know when they're planning on ending this season. I guess it's going to be towards the end of the year, maybe the start of next year, probably. Maybe a bit longer, but I'd imagine it'll be somewhere around there. And um, yeah, they're hoping to get that fixed by the end of the season. Um, I would like them to hurry up and optimise the servers. We're having a lot of trouble on PvP. Um, on PvP? <laughs> We're having a lot of trouble on PvE with um, a lot of kind of like overloading or even when actually I've noticed today even when it was quiet and there wasn't that many people logged into a grid and the ping was really low there was still like lag issues um, and the FPS was fine it wasn't FPS it was just the server like being weird and it's happening more and more so I'd really like to think they're gonna get that sorted before everything else because I know it's driving people away from the game right now I've seen a few people comment on it and I imagine it's the same in PvP um, but you know they're keeping us informed this is all good and the bad thing is that you know there is bigger problems with the bosses it's going to take longer to fix but yeah overall it's good to see him communicating with us like this and giving us these updates and letting us see a little bit behind the curtain again you can read into it what you want you can say this is just waffle and it's all like means nothing and it's all lies um, or you could take the approach of that it's nice for them to let us in on what's going on and believe what they're saying. I tend to believe that's what's going on. And yeah, I, like I said, I think it's good that they are communicating with us. There you go, guys. There's the warehouse teaser and uh, a few of my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. We had a nice little discussion at the end of the live stream I'd done tonight um, about this. Like I said, we went through it on stream. So, um, yeah, I've already heard some thoughts and it's it's definitely interesting and I'm interested to see where the warehouses and farmhouses go and there's a lot more to come, which is cool. So, yeah, really happy at the moment with the game. Needs optimising. They need to fix the um, network and stuff, like I said, like the lag issues and things like that. I'm sure a lot of people agree with that. Hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think down below. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, um, People seem to like talking about the stuff in the comments and on Reddit and stuff, and I really enjoy listening and reading to you know what you guys think about it and having chats with you about the stuff that's going on in Atlas. So yeah, it's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.